I'm so damn hood, man. I'm hood. I fucking hood, man. I ain't made of what's really hood in a bit. What's really hood with it? What's hood? I was busy this weekend, motherfuckers. So I ain't been around. I was busy like a mug. I had to replace a faucet in my bathroom. It was leaking. Did that shit on my own. What's really hood with that? What's really hood? Had a little bit of a backup in my uh, washer. Thought the problem was the washer, but no, Mr. Dan Denny was correct. It was coming out the spout. Nothing the little Drano didn't take care of. Got that taken care of. What's really hood with that? We were just being what's really fucking hood. That's what we do. We win at video games. We win at life. We win at housework too. What you know about that? What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm jacked up. I'm going back to work. Maybe I'm trying to cover up the fact that I'm going back to work. But today, uh, you know, this week's a four-week work week. Then we got the NFL this weekend. Let's fucking go. Started off with the Bears versus the Packers, which I hate. I think it's annoying because I do it every year pretty much. But whatever, it's cool. I'm glad to see some football. I've been playing the fuck out of some Madden, bruh. I've been like week seven fucking amazing have a lot of fun with it actually had an L I got an L boys got an L boys third in the league I'm third in the league second in the NFC I'm like six and one but we we hood we hood we got it we learn from our loss we're learning things we're learning but anyway by the way, when that video gets released, if you want to see legitimate saltiness for me, legitimate saltiness, when I lost that game, I was legitimately salty. And you're going to see why because of what happened. Oh, man. I, like, took that shit to bed with me, dude. Oh, I was salty as fuck. Not happy. Not happy, dude. I was, I wouldn't even, I would, when I'm really salty, I won't even complain. I'm just sitting there like, like I want to fight somebody. I won't say anything to you. I'm just going to come at you. <laughs> That's how I was. I was like... Especially because, uh, let's just say I could have won. I could have. And I, and I fucked up. Yeah. I fucked up hard. Not good. My own fault. But we learned. We learned. That's what's important. Ain't going to happen again, motherfucker. Ain't going to happen again. Super Bowl, here we fucking come. Ain't going to happen again, dude. But anyway, uh, other than that, played some WrestleQuest this weekend. Uh, the game's getting really boring. Uh, it needs to finish up. I'm so far in, in, involved in it at this point, I'm going to finish it. But boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, is it getting boring. And it pissed me off the other day. I looked on Instagram and I seen, like, they posted a video about it, like a little clip. And they're like, so-and-so gave it a 10 out of 10, 9 out of 10. Like, stop it. How much did you pay them? Or are they just some scrub-ass fucking reviewer? Or they've played one or two fucking games? Get the fuck out of here. Nine out of ten. Ten out of ten. Stop. Enough. That motherfucker's a six at best. That's keeping it real. Probably a seven, but it, it's like a six at best. Actually, six. Yeah, it's a six, dude. Yeah, it gets boring, bro. It's wearing out its welcome. And then I'll be back to stream. And I put a community post up in about it the other day. But anyways, let's hop into the subject here. We're going to talk about Gaming Off The Grid's video. Because that's what we're all talking about. And it's really awesome. That's the whole point of it, I suppose. They started some rumbles here in the community. And you always do. Because people have a hard time listening to different opinions and being okay with it. You know? So I'm going to give you mine, and I'm sure it'll piss people off too. <laughs> so number one, they talked about simulation racers, that they don't enjoy it. So I think they're talking about your NASCARs when you play them. NASCARs pretty, uh, I'm sure it tries to be simulation realistic. The big one is Gran Turismo, and I have to agree 100%. Uh, it's not my thing. I find them really boring. And no, somebody put in the comments, well, if you're not good at them, I'm like, no, it's not. Listen. 
let me keep it real with you. Here's another hot take. I'll be good at whatever the fuck I want to be good at, okay? So if I wanted to be a badass at racing, uh, simulation, uh, uh, any no-death run, speed run, world record, if I wanted to, I'd do it, okay? Let me keep it real. And that ain't even me be joking around right now. I'm being... I'm being serious. No, I'm, I'm being serious, though. If I wanted to do it, I'd do it. If I wanted to beat a record, or I wanted to win something, or I wanted to no death run something, I'll do it. Guarantee you. Guarantee you. When it comes to video games, I got you. You want me to be one of the best at Street Fighter, I'll be one of the best at Street Fighter. You want me to be whatever, I'll do it. fucking to you, bro. That ain't even a lie. Ain't even... Swear to God. I'm, go, I'm, I'm swearing to God right now. I'm not even joking. If I want to accomplish it, I will. Keeping it fucking real. Okay? But moving on to the subject. Uh, simulation racers. I just don't find them very fun. I love stuff like Burnout, uh, Road Rash, Twisted Metal, which isn't really racing, but you know what I mean. Um, that's what I like. Uh, Ivan, uh, super, uh, super Off-Road... Uh, the Indy Heat one, um, Rad Racer's fun. Uh, I like, I like all the, the arcade ones where it's goofy and, uh, OutRun, I'd play that. Um, you know what, I'm thinking of all of them. That, that's where I'm at. That's what I like. I don't like having to seriously tune up my car for real. Um, I don't like to race real, like at where I take hardcore brakes, and uh, my arm's getting tired, hardcore brakes, and go into turns and stuff like that, I used to play Gran Turismo a little bit, and I had a couple of buddies back in the day that were like really into it, and it just, it just wasn't my fucking thing, that's all, it just wasn't my thing, so I agree with them 100%, it's just not fun, um, I'm not gonna say that those games suck, they're just not for me, though. That's not what I want. I don't want to play a game that's super realistic. I don't want to play NASCAR. I, I'm i good. Which I bet you nowadays on NASCAR, what's the newest NASCAR game? Do they still come out with those? But man, they could probably make really realistic ones now because I see how they are with Madden. I, I bet you a, a realistic racing game would be nuts, dude. But, um... And then uh, they start talking about the fifth generation of games, which would be... Your PS1 era, your N64 era. And here's where I have to disagree with them a little bit. Um, I, I hear you on the 64. I barely ever turn on an N64 unless I'm playing those wrestling games. So I agree with them in that way, and I get what they're saying. Um, so for the most part, I agree. But I'm not going to go and say that PS1 is like kind of trash nowadays and that it doesn't really hold up. It depends what you're playing. It is a little rough, though, bro. Like, I went back to Siphon Filter and stuff like that. And don't get me wrong, it was rough to go back to, for sure. Um, but I have my classics that I love on the PlayStation and games that I play on the PlayStation that I have a lot of fun with. Um, there's a game I want to play soon. Is that Ape Escape? That was pretty fun, dude. I, I like that a lot. Um, I was having a good time with it. I love the wrestling games on there, the SmackDown games. Uh, obviously, I always talk about Dave Mira and the Tony Hawk games and stuff. Those still hold up. They're great, man. They're awesome. I played that Apocalypse game with uh, Bruce Willis, and I thought it was fine. Um, every, everything I expect is fine on PS1. I I do go back to it. I, I, like I said, I see what they're saying. Do I flick it on a lot? No. Like, I can say that for the 64 a lot. Like, I know they brought up Goldeneye. No, I definitely made fun of people for the same thing because, um, and I say make fun of people, I'm joking, like, I, I clowned on him a little bit for acting like such a crazy madman when Goldeneye uh, Remastered got released because I bet you nobody played it for more than a week, you know what I mean? The shit don't even matter no more. There might be one or two people out there doing it, but, like, as for, like, the big hardcore, like, community or everybody's really into it, I doubt it. Get the fuck out of here. You ain't playing that shit. You know, and people do that with a lot of games, to be honest. But, um, but no, PS1 has its, uh, has its place. It has its place. It has its time. 
I mean, the Contra games on there are fucking awful. I played through those. But, like, Twisted Metals are fun. There's 1, 2, and 3 on there. Those are good games, man. Road Rash 3D I played on there. Speaking of bringing those games up last subject. Um, those are really good. I like those a lot. Um, trying to think of more. Because I'd have to look at my collection. I, I Believe me, I look through my collection a lot regularly. Like, when I'm just downstairs and I'll look at my collection through a lot of things. And every time I look at PS1, I think I see games. I'm like, oh, yeah, that game's badass. Ooh, that's badass. I mean, Symphony of Night, dude? Symphony of Night is, like, give or take, like, the best Castlevania. I mean, I would argue that. I would say Symphony of Night could be the best one. You know, and that's on PS1, dude. Yeah, you can play it on other shit, but it's on there. So that, that I didn't necessarily agree with, but I do get what direction they're going. I never turn on an N64. I just don't. I, I don't ever see a need to play one of those games, you know, except for wrestling. That's it. But if my 64 is hooked up downstairs, it's because I was just playing WrestleMania 2000 or Revenge or No Mercy. That's it. You know, uh, I'm going to switch hands again. <laughs> but, uh, oh, and then the argument over Konami and Capcom. I do think Gaming Off the Grid was talking about last year. Or, I'm sorry, uh, Retro. Retro only. But, um, but if we're talking retro only, it's not even close. It's not even close, dude. Capcom did make some good ones, though, like all the Mega Mans, if you're really into those things. I get so sick of them. But then they have, uh, Gunsmoke. They had all the Disney games. Uh, they had, uh, Ghosts and Goblins. So they did, and the NES, don't get me wrong, Capcom is good. And I think, I think here's where the confusion is. Nobody is saying Capcom sucks. Nobody's saying that. Okay, and I think that's how it's being taken. Capcom does not suck. You have two champions going at it, and Konami wins. That's all. But, but Capcom is still in second place. It's still a champion. You know what I mean? Maybe it's not second place, but you know what I mean. Because you can say Hudson Soft, Sun Soft, whatever you guys want to say. But what I'm saying is, um, Konami just, dude, it was banger after banger after banger. I mean, the Contras and Castlevanias alone are hard to beat. That alone. You're talking probably both of my favorite franchises, probably. Contra and Castlevania. I mean, and they're both Konami, dude. I mean, you got me reeled in right there. If you're a big Street Fighter, Mega Man fan... Resident Evil fan, then you probably love Capcom. But all those games I'm kind of sick of. You know, I'm not a big Street Fighter guy, so I don't really like fighting games. Um, I love Ghosts and Goblins. They give me that. But, you know, there's... When I say Ghosts and Goblins versus Contra Castlevania, Ghosts and Goblins is a third. I like Contra, Ca I like Contra Castlevania more. Both of them are on top. And it's just, and, and then if you're going to take it and, and think that they're talking about all the way till nowadays, and if they are talking about all the way to nowadays, Konami ain't doing anything. And that's where we have a hard time understanding too. And I get that. I understand that. But Capcom's not doing much today either. You know, if you don't like Resident Evil very much, which I'm sort of sick of it, you know, I'm, I'm just sort of tired of it, especially the remakes. I'm very sick of the remakes. Then... Then, dude, I, I I don't know. That's all they're really doing. You know, they did Ghost of Goblins Resurrection, but nobody liked it. Let's be honest. I did. Nobody else did. Everybody was dissing on it, dude. Nobody played it. Nobody played through it. Nobody did, dude. Everybody bitched about it. You know what I mean? So we probably, we'll probably we probably never get a Ghost of Goblins again because of how everybody acted. That's a whole other subject for another video. I hate that, by the way. But Resident Evil just gets old, man. Just gets fucking old. You know, if I want to play the old ones, I'll play the old ones, you know. Uh, remember, Konami made Silent Hill, too. So there you want a co competitor with Resident Evil, I take Silent Hill all day. I take Silent Hill all day long, dude, over Resident Evil. That's just me, though. That's just me. So Konami, to me, it's true. It's not even close. It's not even close. Because then there's so many hidden ones. Go look up. There's a wiki for both. Go look up Konami NES games. And there's a wiki for every single game. And then look up Capcom. Capcom has a lot of good ones, too. Um, like uh, Canadian Gamer told me, Codename Viper. Yes, that's a good game. 
But there's a lot of games like roller games and stuff like Konami did too, dude. How about the Ninja Turtles games? I mean, they're they're good, man. Konami is fucking good. It's it's a tyrant, especially if we're talking retro. It's not even close. It's not. It's not, dude. Konami was the king. It, it really was. And I still think what they did back then on Super Nintendo, um, Sega, and NES, and PS2, all the way up to PS2, I think it still lives on till today. I do. I do. Because remember, there was Castlevanias on there. Uh, remember, Game Boy Advance's Castlevania. I mean, that still lives on today. I mean, it's good, man. They even have arcade. All these arcade games, which Capcom does too. But um, I just I just don't think it, it holds a candle to them. I don't. But uh, Capcom's good, though. But Konami is that much better. It's really fucking good. Um, what else did they talk about? Uh, I'm, like, drawing a blank here. Oh, Mario versus uh, Mario 64. We'll do that first. I do, I do disagree a little bit. I don't think Mario 64 is a bad game. I don't think that. Do I think it's overrated? Oh, fucking absolutely. Absolutely. There's people that say that's the best Mario game. That is not the best Mario game, dude. No fucking way. No fucking way is it even close to being the best Mario game, bro. That's your nostalgia talking. You know what I mean? That's your that's you talking back in 1995, man. Like, you got to go to today's standards. What, what's good today? You know, and today, uh, that is not the fucking best Mario game. Holy shit. You know what I mean? Mario 3 is better than that. You know what I mean? If we even go back to the day. But man, Mario Odyssey? Mario Odyssey is better than Mario uh, 64. I'm sorry. It's not even close, dude. It's not even fucking close. I'll go ahead and say that. It's not even close, dude. Do not talk about Mario Odyssey and Mario 3 in the same, or uh, Mario 64 in the same sentence. Do not. No. Do not. No. <laughs> do not. That, that's just so wrong. Um, I would even say Galaxy 1 and 2 are on that level. Um, Mario 64 is not a bad game, but it has a lot of issues that we didn't see back then, but now that we have better games, they're all exploited. And when you try to go back to it, it's hard to go back to. You can. I beat it too, but I agree with uh, Robert that if you're going to go for all 100 stars or whatever it is, it's probably going to be kind of rough, man. You know what I mean? It's kind of rough. If you're just going to go and get the, the 40 to beat it or whatever, or 30, then you're probably going to be just fine because you can skip a lot of the bullshit then, you know? But the stuff that truly challenges you in that game when you're going for 100%, that's what Robert's talking about, and that I can understand. I'm sure it's a pain in the ass. I didn't beat it like that. I've got, like, my 40-something stars or whatever the fuck it is to get into Bowser's room. Right when I got done, I got into Bowser's room and I beat him. By the way, one of the worst Bowser fights ever. Come on, you're grabbing him by the tail and throwing him. Stupid. Stupid. Because Mario is not that strong. Mario wins by his speed. I hate how he just picks Bowser up. Bowser is the powerful one, okay? That's why in all the Mario Party games and all the sports games and stuff, Bowser is the power one. Can you imagine if Mario just got up there and hit just as hard as fucking uh, Bowser in Mario Baseball? No, dude. He's known for his... He's balanced. He has speed, agility, and stuff like that. How's he just going to fucking, without a power-up or anything, how's he going to pick up fucking Bowser and throw him fucking 40 yards? It's stupid, dude. They should have had him get a power-up or something. Like in Mario Odyssey, he gets a power-up where he has punching uh, boxing gloves, and you punch the shit out of him at the end. You, you use his own weapon against him. Because why? Because it's better. That's why. Because Odyssey's fucking better. <laughs> anyway. Um... And other than that, Mar uh, Mario versus Sonic. I'll do this real quick. Sonic, I would argue, was staying in the lead or with Mario with Sonic 1 and 2. Sonic 1 and 2, I would even argue between Mario 1 and 2 that Sonic was a little bit in the lead, depending on where you're at. Because there's a lot of people that love Mario 2, including myself. But Sonic 1 and 2 are bangers. They are really good. They're really fucking fun games. After that, though, we hit Sonic 3, Sonic Knuckles, Sonic CD, and then you're comparing that to uh, Mario 3 and Mario World. Dude, Mario 3 and Mario World fucking stiff arm the shit out of it. They're gone. The race is gone. Now Mario is going, and he's never looking back. 
Sonic will never keep up with him after that point. Don't even get me started about Mario games nowadays versus Sonic. I bought that fucking Mario or Sonic Frontiers, Sonic Forces, trash, trash. Mario Deluxe, Mario Odyssey, Mario Motherfucking Wonder are destroying Sonic nowadays. Don't even fucking start. Don't even get me started on PS2 and bullshit Sonic too. Uh, with Xbox 360, I mean, with Sonic 06 and shit. Don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. Terrible. Sonic is a disgrace now. Now Sonic is like a garbage. There is Sonic Mania. Sonic Mania is okay, but it's not on Mario's level. Sonic Mania was fun. Me and Nathan played it. It's a fun game. They went back to the roots. But let's be honest, too. That was made by fans, dude. That's what it took to fucking bring Sonic back at all. You know what I mean? They do have a new game coming out that we'll see how it is, like Sonic Superstars or something. So we'll see how that is. But as for, like, after Sonic 1 and 2, they just kind of lost them, dude. They fucking lost them. Mario Mario pulled ahead and he never looked back. You know what I mean? Mario just kept shitting on him over and over and over and over again. And I would say once Mario 3 hit, Mario 3 and Mario World are looked at as two of the best games ever. You know, they're a lot of people's favorite game ever. Then he's got Mario Kart. Uh, I think I think Cameron said Sonic Team Racing is better than Mario Kart. I mean, I was about to just give up on the conversation. <laughs> Please don't say stuff like that. Stop. You, you, I don't play a lot of Mario Kart at all to this day either. Okay? I, I get sick of it. But it's still probably the best, like, racing, uh, arcade racing game there is. I mean, it's still really good, dude. It's really fucking good. Mario Deluxe is awesome. It's just, I get sick of it, though. You know, it's all anybody ever wants to play when you're at parties or conventions and stuff like that. It's all anybody ever wants to do. And it gets annoying, you know? But, um... Which, going back on simulation racing games, see, Mario Kart, I'd rather play than, than Gran Turismo, right? But um, Mario Kart, dude, it, Mario gets gets uh, gets cred for that too. I mean, Mario Parties. I mean, dude, Sonic doesn't stand a chance. It's like comparing, uh, and, and I know this will ruffle some feathers, but I still think it to be true. When you start comparing Sega Master System to NES, it's just you just can't. You just can't, dude. You can't. It doesn't keep up. Yeah, there's a couple of good titles on the Master System and stuff, but, dude, it just can't keep up. It can't. For every three titles you'll give me, it's like NES easily matches that, and then there's so much more. You know what I mean? It's like it, you, you just can't compare. It's it, it just you can't. It's not to say Master System sucks. It's not to say Sonic sucks. It's just you can't get on the level, though. It's The other level is so elite, so major league that, you just can't do it, man. You just can't. And that and that's where I think we're at with a lot of this stuff is, you know, nobody's saying that Sonic sucks. I mean, I would argue nowadays he does. But, um, because I definitely don't play the motherfucking games. But, um, but it's just when you're comparing it to Mario. Oof, man, Mario's still kicking ass this day. Dude, Mario Maker? Mario Maker, bro. Don't even sleep on Mario Maker. Seriously. Um, I mean, that Mario's killing it, dude. Mario Tennis, Mario all that shit. Mario shit takes a hot, steamy shit all over it, dude. It's not even close. And uh, it's just bad. It's not even a competition. I can't even believe that's being, like, talked about, put it that way. I feel bad for Mario that he's even being talked about in the same sentence as Sonic at this point. You know, give me a fucking break. There's still a fucking war going on. Sega sold their ass for a reason, dude. <laughs> Because they lost. That's why. But, um, anyway. Guys, I got to get to work. I'm walking in. Because I had to do a What's Really Hood. I was almost late to the meeting here. So, <laughs> What's Really Hood over the meeting. Sorry. Okay? <laughs> anyway, guys. NFL this weekend. Are you ready for some football? Are you ready for some football? I just want to go play some fucking Madden. Let's fucking go. Arcade sports games versus simulation sports games. What do you got? What do you got? I'd say overall. Nowadays, overall. We're looking at every sport. I'm picking arcade. NHL hits. Stuff like that. 
What's up, Rochelle? Um, I'm picking that. Anyways, I'm like getting into work. But uh, I'll talk to you guys. Yeah.